in the war over the deadly drug fentanyl. Grand Rapids police say they've scored a big win with two arrests. They say they seized cocaine and enough fentanyl to kill almost everybody in Kent County. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker is here with that story. Brian and Sue, fentanyl is the deadliest drug out there, now blamed at least in part for almost every opioid death in Kent County. Fentanyl is so powerful, the feds say that two milligrams can kill you, in which case the kilogram seized in this home in Wyoming was enough to kill half a million people. Lamont Simmons and Betty Martinez, both from Kentwood, were arraigned this morning in Wyoming District Court on drug charges so serious that they carry up to life in prison. Court records show officers on Thursday raided the home on Holly Street near Buchanan Avenue and 50th Street after what police called a lengthy investigation. A neighbor captured some of that raid on her cell phone. Police say they found a safe with cocaine and a kilo of fentanyl. They also seized guns. Court records show police also pulled over Betty Martinez on Thursday and found seven kilograms of cocaine in the car after a dog picked up the scent of narcotics. They say the two were importing the drugs into West Michigan from out of state, though they didn't identify the origin. The Kent County Health Department says that 94% of the 63 people who've died of opioid overdoses this year in the county had fentanyl in their systems, often mixed with other drugs. Just seven years ago, fentanyl was in the mix in less than 20% of overdose deaths in the county. We've seen that increase just astronomically. And actually in 2022, we have had zero heroin-related opioid overdoses. Um, it's just all fentanyl. Sometimes mixed with other drugs like cocaine and meth, sometimes pressed into pills. It's incredibly important that we are taking fentanyl off the streets. But as important as seizing drugs, she says, is making sure that users can protect themselves with access to test strips to make sure drugs they're taking aren't laced with fentanyl and access to Narcan in case they overdose. It is just important that individuals know how to stay safe just because fentanyl is so ever present in our drug supply. Simmons was being held at the Kent County Jail on a $1 million bond. Martinez on a half million dollar bond. They'll be back in court later this month to determine if they'll face trial. I'm Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker.